Hello. One of the things I love about the Mavic Air is its uh, size and portability. Um, this is the drone and the uh, remote control, all in the handy little bag that you get when you buy it from DJI. Uh, but uh, sometimes you need to carry a bit more than just uh, the remote and the drone itself. You've got spare batteries, charger and the like. So today I'm going to be looking for a couple of different bags. Um, I always love it when I get packages in the post. I had one package from uh, Freewell and another from Hobby in RC. So I'm just going to be taking bags through their paces and seeing whether or not they're up to the job. This is the main bag uh, from Freewell. It's their uh, rugged case. Um, it's supposed to be very strong and protective. I've got some tests coming up that will put it through its paces. Um, Harry was good enough to give me a landing pad as well. Had a landing pad before, but it was far too fiddly. Um, even though this is about bags, this one's actually pretty cool because it just folds out like that. So to me, if you want a landing pad, this is the sort of thing you actually want that's going to fit in your bag so again that's from Freewell um, all the links are going to be uh, below the video <clears throat> so first off let's have a uh, look at the this is the cheaper of the two it's very cheap it's only about $15 um, it is what it is it's a very handy little hold all it's got all the shapes cut out zip up and there you are it is literally that you put that in your back in your backpack and um, I have to say that um, it's a great little case for the price, uh, but it is not going to afford your Mavic any uh, protection at all if it got uh, squashed or uh, dropped. So next up, uh, this is the uh, bag from Freewell. Um, I have to say it's in a, in a different league, um, but then it's a different price as well. It's more than twice the price. It retails for around $40 or £40. Um, it's extremely solid, uh, branded nicely. The uh, it's a very tough little case. The zip seems a far better quality as well. Uh, it opens and shuts very easily without snagging. Inside, uh, I think Harry saw my uh, ND, my little ND and polarizer video the other week. He sent me an ND1000. Okay, that's gonna be a useful one for some uh, still photography. Um, but we're talking about bags today, so let's stick to bags. I've seen a, uh, a few comments. Yep, there is a bit of a chemically smell. Um, at the end of the day, it's uh, cut rubber inside, so um, that hopefully will go. Freewell case is a bag in its own right. Uh, it will basically take the drone, the remote with the sticks, uh, spare batteries, you've got space for the charger, or uh, a couple of other little bits and pieces. You've also got a nice, perhaps, Nice little uh, sleeve here, just to keep anything else. That's a case that uh, I'd be quite happy uh, throwing about, and uh, it's gonna offer far more protection for the air and the remote and the, and the batteries. To me, one of the most important things about bags is how well will it protect the stuff you put inside. It's not just about having the, uh, the storage space. Um, I'm not gonna throw my uh, Mavic around and, uh, and test that, uh, but I do have some ducks and geese and I'm going to use their eggs. And uh, I'm also gonna do a bit of a water test. Uh, and again, any water that gets through will show up on this. So let's see how these bags compare. Right, here's my highly scientific plan. Got egg, egg, egg. Got uh, some napkins that will show up any water that comes in. Putting them towards the edge as well because around the zipper, so it's just literally a loose. And again here. And now, let's see what happens. So first off, the old shock test, um, highly scientific. Then you also have the, oh dear, I didn't realize I was sitting on it. That didn't sound very good. Try the free will. 
okay so these things are sent to me to test um, so I'm testing them you wouldn't normally do this but uh, you know who knows you might get caught out in the rain shall we have a look so first off the smaller bag from Hobby and Cook Okay, so we've let in quite a bit of water around the edge and we have a broken egg. Free well. Okay, also got a bit of water around the edge. However, my eggs are completely fine some up here as well now that stayed dry as well so there you go so two very different cases being put through some real life everyday tests there you drop your bag you sit on it by accident you get caught out in a shower of rain so I don't think it was unreasonable to uh, inflict those sorts of things on bags the uh, cheaper bag from Hobby NRC it is what it is it's a great little hold all it'll fit everything nicely for you um, it's not going to offer much protection from any pressure freewell bag is a different kettle of fish it's twice the size but um, with the uh, all the compartments and the thick rubber um, it's going to offer far more protection for whatever you put inside so um, that would certainly be my choice as i said the links are below if you want any more information on these um, i'm going to go and do some flying now so until next time have fun happy flying <laughs>